showing you today in her mini masterclass on wall painting how to recreate your own medieval wall painting. And this is the image that she's going to focus on today. This image is 14th century, it probably dates to about 1350. And there's two schools of thought about who and what it represents. The first is that this is St Anne, uh, Mary's mother, teaching Mary the Virgin to read as a child, which is a very common medieval trope of the period. Um, however, there's no real evidence that there's a book that this figure was holding that is missing, or even a scroll, and that the, the smaller figure, who may be a child, um, or may not be a child, um, is, is supplicating. It may well be that this is actually the Virgin Mary blessing a pilgrim. This is a pilgrim chapel. Um, but thought is out on that. It's open to interpretation. Um, hi, my name is Jacita. You can call me Jess. Um, I'm going to be doing um, a workshop for you today. So I work for Interaction MK. I'm a project manager for them. And as Noelle has explained, the historic side of the chapel and the wall paintings inside, we're actually going to be painting one of the wall paintings. So the one we're going to be doing is where um, St Anne is teaching Virgin how to read. There's one of the paintings where um, Mary's mother Anne is teaching her to read. You can't really see a book in the painting. We think maybe that could have been um, rubbed off a bit, but that's basically what we're going to be painting today. So the first materials that we need is um, we need some paint. So you can use any paint. I'm going to be using acrylic today and I've also got one interior paint, but you can use poster paint. Um, if you want to try out watercolour, then you can do that as well. So I've got a black colour. I've got a kind of like a light pink, portrait pink kind of colour. I've got a normal bright pink colour, a dark brown, and then I've got an orange as well. So we're going to start off by doing the background. Um, you'll also need for today a sponge. So I'm just using normal kitchen sponges. It's just to kind of get that effect of um, the wall being kind of broken down and stuff. You need a pot of water so you can wash your brushes in it and also your sponge. I'd probably recommend some kitchen towel um, just so you can dab off any excess water or excess paint before you're doing onto a stage. You need a paint palette or just something that you can put your paint in. You can use a paper plate, polystyrene plate, um, or if you have got a paint palette, that would be great. I'm actually using um, the back of a canvas board. We're also going to be using some stencils. So I've got some card here and I've got a cutting mat and I've also got a craft knife. So maybe you could get um, somebody who's able to cut to do the stenciling part. And then last but not least, we need some marker pens because we're going to be drawing out the figures um, using the Sharpie pen. So I've got a brown and a black. So we're going to start off by doing the background. Um, so I'm, I've chosen a bit of cardboard. I think cardboard's actually really good to use. Um, it's got texture on it already. Um, it's good to recycle your cardboard. And I think it will give, give a really good effect. We're going to start off by using a very light cream colour. So I'm just going to take some out on my palette. There we go. So we need a nice light cream colour. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wet my sponge a bit. Take off the excess water and dab it off. So what we want to do with the sponge is we kind of want to not so much dab. Um, I think dabbing will take quite a long time, but what we're going to do is we're just going to do circular motions. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit of paint onto my sponge and I'm just going to do some nice circular motions. What that will do is that will drag the paint along. So you've got some sections that have got a lot of paint and some sections where the paint's kind of like drifting away. And basically we want that nice cardboard to come through the paint as well, um, just to give it that extra effect. So I've got my cream colour here and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to spread it out a bit so I can get quite a bit onto my sponge. And then I'm just going to start with the circular motions. Once you've finished your cream, we're going to then add a tiny bit of brown. So I've got some of my dark brown here and I'm just going to take a little bit onto my sponge. You don't need to wash your sponge after, it's quite nice that the colours mix together. And then we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to have the orange as well and the pink. So as you can see, it is a very rough kind of texture, which is kind of what we want. Basically, what we're going to do is you're going to fill the whole background in that same way. I've actually already done it earlier. So I'm just going to flip over the cardboard. Perfect. So as you can see, I've done the whole background in the exact same way. You can see there are some sections where I've got a little bit more pink, a little bit more orange, a little bit more brown, and that's absolutely fine. There's no real perfect way to do this. We want it to be kind of like random. We want it to be textured. So in this particular painting, there was a symbol that depicts kind of like an M shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by um, drawing out the symbol onto the card. We're going to cut it out, and all we're going to do is we're going to stencil it 
all over the background um, using the sponge and a dark brown colour. So we've got this symbol here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to draw it and then we're going to cut it out and we're going to be stenciling it onto our background. So I'm going to draw one kind of like a crescent moon shape. And then I'm going to draw one onto the other side, leaving a big gap in the middle. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw that middle bit, which has got a dip on the end and it kind of goes in. It's like a little pillar, but in the middle. So what I've done is I've done a little dip here and then there's a little triangle piece that kind of goes on the top to fill that. And then what they've got, they've got one little line here at the bottom and then they've sort of got an arch, an upside down arch that goes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut it out using a craft knife. Please make sure that you are safe when using a craft knife. If you prefer using scissors and cutting some slots in the middle and then kind of cutting around it, you can do that as long as you've got the stencil and you're able to kind of like sponge the symbol on as the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back to our background and we're going to get our paint and sponge because we're going to be stenciling it straight onto the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab some brown paint, some nice dark brown paint onto my sponge. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold it up. So I'm just going to put it at an angle. So we're just going to dab the brown paint. So we're going to move on to the figurine. So in the painting we have got, so we've got Mary's mother who's going to be um, over on this side and she's basically got her hands out like this almost like she's reading from a book what you can do is you can start off with a pencil if you prefer to kind of draw the outline in pencil um, and then go over it with pen I'm just going to go straight in with a sharpie pen so I've got my reference photo here so I'm going to be holding on to my reference photo and I'm just going to show you um, go through the, the drawing side of it and you can kind of like copy and try to uh, mimic what I'm drawing so I'm going to start off with um, Mary's mother Anne so she's kind of like knelt down um, standing kind of like here and then I'm going to draw um, Mary over here so I'm going to start off by drawing the shape of the head so it's kind of you want the chin here coming up and basically she's got a robe coming out from the head and that's all it is for that figure then we're going to draw the next figure and then after that we're just going to paint the robe black which is what she's got in the picture. So she's looking down, Anne is looking down at Mary, Mary's going to be down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw the face first. So you're going to draw kind of like an angle, kind of to the side here. Just going to draw the top lip, leave a gap and then draw the bottom lip. And that's basically it. So what we're going to do now, so I'm just going to, oh my god, I'm just, just going to draw um, the brown paint onto the um, hair there and I'm going to colour in the robe in black um, and then that will be the end of the painting. So I'm just going to grab some black paint. Perfect, so I've painted the robe um, black now. As you can see, I haven't actually painted it completely black. Again, that's because some of the painting has kind of like eroded a bit and broken up. So I've kind of given that effect just by letting the paint run out on my brush and still carry on with the strokes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab a bit of brown paint now. Just gonna wash this brush off. So I'm just gonna get the brush and I'm just gonna go round in circles over the lines that I've made. Little tiny little circles going around and that's basically the whole painting. So what we've got is we've got Mary down here and we've got her mother Anne teaching her to read and then we've got our symbols in the background and then a very nice kind of like rough looking old background. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.